What's up guys, Danny and Alex. Today we're gonna show you guys side control position, the Americana, as well as the Kimura, which are shoulder locks from the side mount. Okay, so Alex is gonna have the side mount position. And we're gonna first discuss the arms, okay? The positioning of his arms. So number one is chest to chest. He doesn't wanna to be too far out so I don't roll him over. So he needs to have a good base, all right? So now he's gonna go palm to palm. This is what we call the head control, head and arm, or over under position. This is the standard position here. And the second option is sometimes he's gonna use this arm and hold behind my hip like this. So that way there, I can't recover guard. So once we adjusted the upper body, we also have to discuss about the lower half of the body. So Alex is gonna switch sides so you can see what he's doing on this side. So from this angle now, guys, Alex is gonna show you guys the positioning options of his legs. So the first one is having two knees stuck against my body as such, standard side control position. You can also have his legs sprawled and drop this hip so I can't recover guard. If need be, he can also bring his arm around my hip as he sprawls out to ensure I can't recover guard. Or vice versa, where he switches the opposite side leg and drops a lot of pressure on this side and has the knee glued to my hip so I can't recover guard as well. And then furthermore, he can also keep the palm to palm position and switch to Keza with this control. Okay, let's move on to the submission attack, which is the shoulder lock. The first one is gonna be the key lock, or the Americana as we call it. So Alex is gonna have side mount here. And now if the arm is dangling, that's the easiest way to do it. He's just gonna trap my wrist, make sure his elbow goes to the mat next to my face, and I'll slide the other arm underneath to trap his own wrist. From here, he wants to ensure my hand stays flat against the mat. And one thing that's very important, look at the angle, I'm boxed in. So boxed in on this side, meaning I can't move my body because his knees are tight and snug against my body. And boxed in here for the attack where the arm is located. All right, so there's a 90 degree angle here, and there's also a 90 degree angle with his right arm, and then there's a 90 degree angle with my own arm. So this is why I mean by boxed in. So now once he has this, he wants to ensure the motorcycle grip and then turn to make sure that I can't escape this arm before he uses the paintbrush effect. So now go for the finish. From here, he raises and slides to attack the shoulder. That's the basic Americana lock we have from side control position. This can be applied in jitsu, nogi, mixed martial arts, self-defense. Let's do this one more time. So we're here. I want to talk about this position now is if the opponent is hugging onto your back like this. All right, I'm using a body lock here. So if this was a real street fight or mixed martial arts fight, he would go 12 to six elbows, right? So boom, now I'd be forced to defend and give away that wrist. Now you can attack the same shoulder lock once again, adjust, he wants to look away if ever I'm trying to strike him here, and now he goes for the paintbrush. Beautiful. The second method is also using the exact same lock, but we call it the Kimura, all right? Sometimes it's also referred as the reverse hammer lock. Now, the hand is gonna be in this position. That's beautiful for him. So what he's gonna do from top side, he's gonna trap the wrist, keep it on the mat, now go around the neck and underneath my own shoulder. There's always a gap here. Let's look at it from this angle, guys. Once he's trapped my wrist, a lot of times the common mistake is people go around the face. Now I see this coming, so I can either block the arm and try to escape, or even though he's able to reach, they'll go too far out and try to go underneath my elbow like this. And there's no room on the mat. So it's very important to stay snug. So as he releases the neck control, he's just gonna loop around my head and now go around and underneath my shoulder. There's always a gap here. So the more I'm resisting here, the more the gap is underneath my shoulder. Now he's gonna go V-grip, bring everything tight, and now he could finish from here. Same thing, paintbrush effect towards the top, and tap. Again, if my arm is on my own body, he's gonna trap the wrist, bring it to the floor, boom. And now circle around, go underneath the armpit, trap his own wrist. Once he has this, he can also do a substitution of moving his legs and trapping my head. As he goes over, now he can raise my body slightly and tap. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching our video. As usual, leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't so already. Don't forget to click on that bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. 
and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.